<coughs> Hi, I'm Rad Linux, and so welcome back to another episode of No Flipper Zero, No Problem. So last time we talked about creating a bad USB device out of a very cheap Raspberry Pi Pico. But today we're going to talk about a piece of software called NFC Tools. Now this is an application available for both Android and iOS that allows us to leverage the NFC chip found in most modern smartphones in order to accomplish a host of tasks. Uh, this can include reading, writing, and possibly emulating NFC tags. So let's stack them up side by side and let's see what sort of similarities and differences we can find. Now there are two versions of NFC tools. One is free and one is paid. The pro, pro version is about, I think, $3.50. And uh, there's also a third accompanying app that, that is free called NFC Tasks. And that allows us to set up some home automation style, uh, you know, home assistance style automation, rather. Uh, but let's hop in and let's just see what's going on. Now, when we open NFC tools, we will start off on this read page and we're all set to go. We can just touch our phone against an NFC tag and read its contents. So I'm gonna do that to a pair of Bluetooth headphones that have a quick sync NFC tag. And we're also gonna do that with the Flipper Zero so that we can see uh, you know, how they stack up side by side. So we can see that these have very, you know, similar readouts. <laughs> uh, not really. Uh, you know, we can tell very quickly that the Flipper Zero has a, a super minimalist uh, set of information here. We can find a little bit more. We can even see the raw hex. Uh, but the, you know, the display is a little bit nicer on our phone here. Uh, we can show more characters. We have a touch intuitive, you know, uh, format. And there's just a lot more information that it, this shows us. We can get into memory information. We can show get into, you know, the size on the card, uh, whether it's writable or not. And, you know, honestly, I, I don't know how accurate all of this is. I, I don't feel like they would put a writable NFC tag inside of a set of Bluetooth headphones, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe that's, you know, that I've seen companies do weirder things. But uh, yeah, you know, it's just a little bit nicer over here in, in NFC tools. And, you know, you might find that even if you have Flipper Zero, using NFC tools to read the information on the card can be beneficial if you're maybe trying to troubleshoot an issue. If we go over here and we uh, actually save this capture on our Flipper Zero, then we can take that information and open. We can, you know, we can open up that file in the text editor, and I'll have a little bit more info there. Uh, some of the the same stuff that's available over here as well. But yeah, I mean, NFC Tools does read more information. But you might notice something. Now there is no capture over here. Uh, and so this is kind of the big difference, especially we're starting off in the free version here. And in the free version, we cannot capture anything. We can only read the information and we can copy and paste some of it. So this is good for like recon or if we're trying to mimic the exact record, uh, you know, that exists already, we can copy and paste, but we can't just like create a capture in the same way we create a capture with our Flipper Zero. So let's go over to right and let's see what we can do here. So in the right section, we can create these records, uh, which are, you know, based off of a host of templates they have available. And these are kind of custom, right? Uh, we can make our own set of records and we can write them to a an NFC tag, a blank NFC tag, or add them to an existing NFC tag. And this is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm actually going to create a little custom URL. Uh, and let's see what happens when I do that. Obviously, we're going to go to youtube.com slash rad underscore capital L Linux. And you can see that it adds a new function here. And by clicking right, we can just tap on an NFC tag uh, and add this record as long as it's capable of doing that. That's cool. That's a function that, frankly, the Flipper Zero doesn't have. 
Uh, now the flipper can do some writing of NFC tags uh, using a, an application called uh, NFC Magic. This comes stock on pretty much every uh, every Flipper Zero firmware. So NFC Magic comes like with everything. Uh, it's you know it comes with the standard Flipper uh, firmware, and it can do some writing tasks, but it's not the most like it complex. And I I've heard that there have been some bugs with this. So maybe it's not the most consistent method or mechanism for writing to NFC tags. Uh, but let's go over to the next section of NFC tools, which is other. And you see that we actually have a host of even more complex capabilities. We can erase tags. Uh, we can lock tags. We can read just the memory from tags or format memory in tags. We can also copy them. So if you want a one-to-one -one copy, we can copy a tag by simply uh, touching up to the source tag and then touching to your blank tag. Uh, and we can, you know, copy a tag. We'll just copy one tag and then it'll, you know, go back to this menu. But copy to infinity will just allow us to continue copying until we choose to cancel. So if you want to make a bunch of NFC tags that are all exactly the same, we can do that. We can password protect them. Uh, we can also send some advanced NFC commands so advanced that they say, for the love of God, be sure that you know what you're doing. And I don't, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but it's cool. There actually is a lot here. And remember, this, we're still in the free version. But let's go over to write. And let's check out more options. And let's see what's going on with this pro version. And you'll see there's a lot of pro uh, options. There's really only one non-pro option here. And the way that this functions is that uh, you know, in the free version, we can create these custom NFC records and the set of NFC records and actually write it to a tag, but uh, we can't save that. So we can't save our custom profile uh, of NFC records. And that's kind of annoying. I mean, obviously we could create a tag and then copy from that tag, but if you don't have that around, then you kind of can't create a new tag with the thing that you want to make. So the pro version allows us to save that. It also allows us to import tag files, uh, tag profiles from like other places. We can import records from a tag. So this is a lot more like a capture might be. And then we can also now with this new beta feature, emulate an NFC tag. So we are getting all dangerously close in this paid version to very similar functionality of a flipper zero. Um, so let's go check, let's go take a peek. Let's let's try some of these uh, more complex options. So we're gonna go to NFC Tools Pro. Uh, we're gonna go to more options, and first we're gonna import records from a tag. So all you have to do is touch up on a tag, and I'm gonna do that really quick. And so now you can see that by just touching on an NFC tag, uh, I was able to create a writable record. So that's pretty cool. That means that now with the pro version, uh, you know, you don't have to copy and paste stuff in and kind of guess a little bit, uh, use their, you know, their, their profiles or whatever. I wasn't quite sure that I was making it work right. Now, this also allows us to do something else, which is emulate. To emulate an NFC tag, you have to create these custom records or import a record from a tag. And then we can click emulate. And then now this is emulating an NFC tag. Uh, and I can't prove this to you because unfortunately I don't have a second NFC capable device that would be able to read this. And obviously the phone is the only, this, this phone is the only phone that I have that is a reader. But theoretically now we can emulate. So this does vary a little bit because this is not exactly the same as we would get with a Flipper Zero in that what we can't do is bring in this vast um, uh, library of NFC information that the Flipper Zero has access to, right? Uh, the Amiibos, the, the different kind of portable NFC files that we can just hand to each other. Uh, that I don't think we can do that with NFC tools. Um, and what we also can't really do, or it's not recommended to do at least, is try and use this as a key ring. 
um, which is, I, I think, what a lot of folks are kind of wanting to do with their Flipper Zeros. You know, in a practical sense, it does sound like a good idea to put all of your NFC, uh, you know, record information or tags onto one place so you don't have to have a ton of different NFC, you know, cards lying around. But if we actually go to the FAQ of the NFC Tools page, uh, you know, folks ask, can I use this as a key ring? And the answer that they have is no. This is really, really similar to our Flipper Zero, and it costs $3.50 to get the most advanced version of it. Uh, and you probably already have a smartphone lying around. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you learned something, and uh, maybe I'll see you next time. I'm Rad Linux.